Percy enjoyed working in the yard. Edward had taught him well, and he kept the trucks and coaches in good order. His cheerful nature was a welcome change from the yard's bad atmosphere. As Percy was shunting, he saw Thomas arrive with Annie and Clarabelle. He didn't take much notice. But when the guard's whistle blew, he was surprised to see Thomas backing the train down the branch line. is a unique engine. Thanks to special rods and connectors, he can be driven from Clarabelle's cab. This means he can stay at one end of his train for both journeys. Oh, Thomas smirked. Well, not every engine can do it. You need certain experience. I'll bet I could do it, Percy bubbled. I doubt it, scoffed Thomas. You're just not special like I am. He left the station, chuckling to himself. Not special indeed, fumed Percy. I'll show that, Thomas. Just let him wait. When the big engines were shut in the shed, the fat controller asked Percy to look after the branch line. He was excited to get out of the yard, and to show Thomas a thing or two. Percy liked branch line work, but soon found his hopes were dashed. His driver all ran him round to the back of the train. He tried starting before he could be uncoupled. He tried locking his brakes. He tried everything, but his driver always won in the end. One morning, Percy brought the first train to the big station. He was about to run around for the return journey when the station master walked up. Sorry, he said. The points are acting up can't change them. You'll have to push the train, I'm afraid. Percy was ecstatic. Now's the time! Now's the time! He beamed. Listen to me, said the driver sternly. You're pushing this train no further than the first station, and I want no tricks when it's time to run you round back. Understood? Oh, uh, yes, sir, gulped Percy. As the driver strode to the cab, Percy chuckled. Unless, he whispered to Annie, there's a points failure at the first station, too. Annie rolled her eyes. The fireman was anxious. Do you think we'll manage? It's only a short distance, the driver. I don't we'll have any trouble. Little did he know, a short distance was all the trouble needed. Percy was enjoying himself immensely. Look at me, look at me, he laughed. Not so unique now, are you, Thomas? The driver was having a hard time seeing. The guard kept watching Clarabel. But Percy bumped about so much that he spilled tea on his uniform. Father, he fumed, and went searching for a rag. stalled on the level crossing. Bertie sat waiting, annoyed by the delay. Come on, he honked impatiently. I've got places to be. The driver grunted as he continued working on the lorry's 
Denny. Birdie rolled his eyes. He glanced down the line. A train was fast approaching. Stop! Stop! Birdie cried. Clarabelle was frantic. Brakes! Brakes! She shrieked. The guard, turning his attention back to the rails, scrambled to the lever. he opened his eyes, he'd finally halted. Clarabelle's buffers were mere inches from the crossing gates. What's the matter with you engines? scolded Bertie. You might have hurt your passengers. Percy was ashamed. I only wanted to show Thomas I was a special engine. The driver was perplexed. Special? What are you on about? recounted what happened, and the driver laughed. Trust me, Percy, he said. Thomas is by no means special. He was built that way. The driver explained about Thomas's controls. Percy felt very foolish. When the lorry was clear of the crossing, he backed the train carefully to the first station. the coach. He thought of how silly he'd be. Cheer up, smiled Clarabelle. You did well to get us here. Besides, Thomas's special controls don't always work in the end. They don't? Percy asked. Heavens no, Clarabelle laughed. When the driver is in my cab, Thomas goes off daydreaming and doesn't pay attention. You wouldn't believe how often he overruns the platform. Percy felt much better hearing this and laughed all the way to the top station as Clarabelle recounted Thomas's misfortunes. Percy had no further incidents and returned to shunting the big engine to go back out. Special engine. Okay.